What's up guys, Lazy Money UK here. I took a break from making videos for a while to get my website finally sorted. For a long time I'd been demotivated by not having the knowledge or skills to make it happen. One day I decided to just sit down and go through an intensive 6 hour Skillshare course for WordPress blogs. I gotta study man. I actually ditched the course part way through once I knew enough to make my own site rather than keep building the practice site. The course made me realize why I was having such a hard time originally. You see, the WordPress software is not intuitive for beginners at all. Unless you install third party plugins that let you edit your site layout directly. That's not so bad because at least you can still find a way to get it done. Here's the fatal flaw with WordPress however. There premium hosting plan doesn't have all the features you need. You have to pay £156 extra per year just for permission to install plugins. Even plugins that are supposed to be free. It was too late to apply for a refund and the best I could negotiate with their customer service was a 10% discount on the next plan up which I declined. No. It worked out much cheaper to buy hosting again elsewhere, install the free WordPress software and then subscribe to the Elementor plugin to make site building easier. In other words, do what I should have done in the first place. All I can do now is make this video to warn you that if you buy hosting with WordPress, you become their bitch. And what I mean by that is, you can either stay stuck with an unusable interface and their watermark on your website or you can pay an extortionate amount of money to get essential features which should be free at all levels. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. You might be wondering why I bought WordPress hosting in the first place rather than carefully evaluating my options. I wanted to avoid analysis paralysis and jump straight into the creation process. On the surface, WordPress were offering an all-in-one solution where you get a domain name, hosting and software included, so it seemed like a good idea initially. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, being decisive backfired this time. Anyway, the good news is I managed to make a website. The total cost of this project, including money wasted on WordPress, was just over £150. Now I have to try and actually make money from the site. The homepage is set up to steer visitors towards the best referral schemes like Swagbucks and Peer to Profit. The next step is to figure out how to get accepted for Google AdSense so the site can start bringing in steady passive income. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Remember to subscribe for more lazy money making content.